Hi, I'm Richard and I'm CEO at Wiz Education. Maths age is a simple measure to represent a student's current maths ability. With peanut butter over here, we're saying that their maths age is 9.64 and where the value of maths age really comes into play is as a comparative measure. Meaning that if a student started off with a maths age of 8 and is now 8.5, or let's have a look at peanut butter here in fact, he had a maths age of 9.28 when he started and he's now got a maths age of 9.64, you can say with a fair degree of confidence that that child's maths has improved by a certain amount. If a child started with a maths age of 8 is now 8.5, you can safely assume they've gained about a half year of maths knowledge. Similarly, you can be confident that a child with a maths age of 9 is ahead of a child who has a maths age of 8. So if you had a class uh, report, let's have a look at this year three group over here. And we can see a range of students on a maths age line. And we can see peanut butter over here with a maths age of 9.64 and Tinkerbell over here with 8.47. What that means is with a very high degree of confidence we can say that peanut butter is overall well ahead in uh, the maths curriculum in terms of confidence and ability. More confident students may find their maths age is ahead of their actual age, whereas less confident students may find their maths age is lower than their actual age. So you could have a nine-year-old who's doing maths at the ability of a typical seven-year-old, and vice versa. Furthermore, their ability may vary across the different topics. We can see that when Peanut Butter first did his assessment, in place value, he had a maths age of nine and a half. Yet, in mental calculation strategies, he had a maths age of just seven and a half. And quite often we do see students that have a two-year gap between their best and least favorite topic. So how do we calculate maths age? When a student first logs into MathsWiz, he or she is presented with a series of questions in an initial assessment. The assessment works out their ability across several key topics. And in that way, MathWiz gets an overall understanding of the child's ability and their strengths and weaknesses. By taking the average across all the topics, you get a student's overall maths age, as we can see here. The dotted line here is showing peanut butter's overall maths age, but as you can see, the individual topics might be higher or lower than that. The important part about MathWiz is that this is continually assessed as they receive their tutoring. So we can see with peanut butter, when they, he did the assessment, which is where those little vertical red lines are, he has since moved on quite considerably. So in summary, we've seen how maths age is worked out, and its real value to you is for you to see a child's individual strengths and weaknesses, and also to see how a child's improving from when they started to where they are today. I hope you found that tutorial useful. If you'd like more information or to see other tutorials about MathsWiz, visit us at wiz.com.